there we go. go. Okay. Am I echoing on your end? Am I echoing on anybody's end? Are you talking to me? Sorry, I missed it. Um, you are on mine. Okay. I'm going to get, I'll be right back. Okay, to use both devices. Is that better? Yes, it's a lot better. Okay. If it's a problem, let me know and I can move it further. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're so welcome. Um, it is, I'm uh, echoing on my end too. One second. some reason I couldn't, oh good, that's better. I couldn't uh, record from my computer. So I got my phone on. All right, so we're gonna talk about all of that, but Jackie, absolutely, absolutely. And you have the time right now, so you can make that happen without a question. It's just a dedication, but that's why we're here and that's why we're doing this today. So not a problem, and I'm recording. So we'll kind of, you guys can revisit this. And today is really a get to know each other, bond with each other, use each other, kind of learn from each other, but also push each other. And then we're just gonna continue these things and go step by step by step. So awesome. All right, who would like to go next? Jessica, you wanna go next? Uh, sure, I'll go next. Um, I'm Jessica. I'm from San Diego. I'm new to isogenics, and I guess my goal would be to make this a full-time job someday. It's kind of hard starting out, but that's definitely a long-term goal of mine. Okay, great. So, Jessica, quick question for you with that, and and I know you're you're brand new to everything, and mm -hmm. <laughs> really just learning this whole process and who we are and what we do and network marketing and all of that. But do you have the time to, and I don't want to say full-time job because you don't have to work full-time in order to earn a full-time pay, but do you have the time to dedicate to make it a income producing, a large income producing opportunity for you? Um, yes, of course I do. I just kind of need to um, manage my time better with getting my life together at this time because I'm just kind of in a a rut a little bit, but once okay. I get everything settled, I'm sure I'll have more time. Not a problem. And we'll talk about time blocking and how to organize it. And that's going to be part of Beth's issue as well. Um, Beth has a, a little little one at home right now. So she's listening. Hopefully we'll get you on Beth, but um, she's listening. I think, what are you, a mother of five, six? I think she's a mother of five. Um, but um, time is, is definitely an issue. So we'll talk about time blocking. But guys, you can really go at this so many different ways. So if you have two hours, if you have four hours, six hours, um, you know, whatever you have, I'd like to find out exactly how many hours everybody does have, and then we can fill it in. Um, the other thing I'd like for you each to do is to fill out the new, uh, new customer questionnaire. We talked about that last night. And if you don't have it, I'll send you the link, but it is an isogenicsbusiness.com. And then just fill that out with all of your details and really think about it. Put some effort into it um, and, and think about it because it's going to help you come up with your goals. It's going to help you decide how much time you do have to spend on this and how much you're willing to put into it for what you want to receive. And and let's do this, everybody do this, whether you're a veteran or you're brand new, because this will answer a lot of questions on how we work um, and how we work together. So Jessica, um, don't worry about that because we'll teach you how to fit this into your life. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're so welcome. All right, great. Okay, Beth, are you able to speak at all? Yes, I'm here. Oh, awesome. Okay. Would you be able to, yep, five kids. Um, are you able to introduce yourself? 
Um, hello, I'm Beth. Um, I have been doing isogenics for about four years now. Um, and my goal is just to get more into the business side of things and um, just kind of get some residual income coming in because, you know, this is a great product and I'd love to be sharing it more with people. All right. Great. Fantastic. And, and here's, here's the thing, you know, like Beth is a great example of a loyal customer who falls in love. Beth did come in running and hitting this from the ground and really built a team um, and was involved with quite a big team. And they had a lot of fun in the beginning. And then things kind of go through valleys, ups and downs. But the great thing about being in a valley is you can always go up. And, but the, but the biggest point is, is Beth has hung in there and stayed there, continue to use the products and continue to talk about, share it, love it. And, and now it's just a matter of, all right, now I have a little bit more time, more kids are off to school and I want to do a little bit more, bring in a little bit more income, share with more people. And so this, this really fits into our lives, however we want it to be. Um, and your customers will be the same thing. And that's one thing that I just really want to point out is customers will come in and out and customers might stay loyal, but then they want to do more with it. It's all good. And, and the reason why I'm stating that is because sometimes we can get into our own head and we can focus too much on what other people might provide for us. It's not about that at all. It's about what people want for themselves and when they want it for themselves. So that's important to talk about in the beginning um, because then we don't get disappointed on what people do or don't do. It's all about what people want right at this moment that, that is there to excite us. And, and I love it, Beth, um, because obviously we've been together for four and a half years and she's been kind of coming in a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. And then she's here today going, okay, I've got seven cycles waiting for me <laughs> to, to cash out on. And I just don't know how to do that. So how do I do that? And I want to do that. And, and that, that's what it's all about. So great. All right, Sasha and Annie, if you can just state real quick your name, where you're from, um, and a goal that you have that we can work on. Hey guys, uh, I'm Annie Midgetat, and I live here in Gilbert, Arizona. Hey Annie. I don't know if it's my end, but it seems very soft. Can you hear me better? Oh, that's great. Okay, perfect. Um, my name is Annie Medina. I live here in Gilbert, Arizona. I actually live pretty close to uh, Isogenics headquarters, which is really cool. Um, it's nice to be able to just pop in and buy some e-shots and not pay for the will call fee, um, you know. But um, one of my biggest goals, and you know, I'll be the first to admit, I'm kind of up and then I'm down, and then I'm up depending on what is being thrown at me, like my day job or maybe emotions. So I have been filtering through that and working through it, implementing new habits so that I could steer um, and always do something in the business. So one of my biggest goals is to be able to tap into the business every single day. It doesn't matter what I'm doing, just kind of pour into the group. Um, my goal is to be able to cash out on definitely on my, I have a lot of BV, you guys. I have, gosh, I want to say on one of my uh, legs, I have almost 200,000, if not 200,000 business volume. So yeah. I really want to cash out on that. That would just, um, I would be able to bless and help my parents out financially. So that's one of my goals. All right, I'm going to do a quick calculation on that. And the great thing about what Annie and Sasha and Beth understand is that that business volume never stops, right? That just keeps going. So she might be able to cash out on what she has now, but it will continue. Um, so Annie, that's 333 cycles. 
and times 5411, that's $18,000. Fabulous. Yeah, right. it, it, you guys, it just keeps growing and growing as long as I'm active every single month. Um, everybody's orders, all that business volume just builds. So um, definitely stay active. Keep on just keeping on. And if you cycle one time or twice a month, just think about it. It's $54 and like 11 cents or something. And it all adds up. Right. Right. Well, I love, I love Kathleen's story who, uh, you, you know, she never paid attention. Now, Kathleen's story is Kathleen's story. I know you guys are here for an income and you're here for the money and that's all great. And that's good. I am too. But um, Kathleen's story, she did, she was not, she had another income coming in that took care of everything. And so she pretty much just left all of her money on her card. She went to go put a down payment on uh, her stepdaughter's car. And he's like, she's like, put, you know, use this card and then I'll pay the balance with this card. And her IcyGenix card paid for the entire car. She had no idea. It was about $18,000. And she had no idea she had that much money on there. And it was just, you know, her doing the business and sharing and building a team and, um, and then just, you know, cashing out at one time. So the money is there. The money's extremely real. It's a very real. It's just a matter of how we're going to get to it. All right. So Sasha, we're going to wrap up with you. Hi. Hello. My name is Sasha and I'm from Oracle. Arizona. Um, oh, hold on. Let me. My son decided to come cuddle with me at the, this time with Minecraft playing. Um, I've been doing the products uh, for about six years. I'd say 2015, May of 2015, I believe it is. Um, and so that's just with under the five years. And what I gained. Oh, just under five years. My yeah. bad. I no, can't do no math worries. today or yesterday. It, it okay. all matters at some um, point. So <laughs> it does. <laughs> um, and then my goal is to really this year uh, hit every reset uh, to build. I think I'm sitting on 320 some thousand on my BV on one side. And let's keep in mind, I've lost it twice. Once totally um, was a bad situation, and I the second time was a complete oh my gosh, oopsie. Um, because sometimes, sadly, I rely on Stephanie to say, Sasha, and I'm like, oh, dude, um, which I've been doing very good on not to do, but just keep in mind that with that, I did lose it tw the first time they gave it back to me the second time because they only do it one time the second time was a uh, very fail on me and i lost all of that at that time that i did lost lose was another 300 some bb so i was very sad we'll just put it that way um but my goal is to do that hit hold on honey hit executive and to really just change a lot of lives because it really does i haven't stopped doing the products um I religiously at least have at least one shake a day. I can truly say that. Um, sometimes too, just depends on what my goals are and how serious I'm being. But um, the energy, the ionics, the ionics, I will never stop. It really does help me hormonally. Um, and it just keeps um, my energy where it needs to be. And it helps me sleep on top of the sleep brain, which I did use last night because I haven't been sleeping. Um, and that's kind of my goals and to help my dad, um, other than having my kids see me as, you know, make it and be, you know, up there and to be an influencer, um, to also my sister who stay at, stays at home to help her have a side income and my dad to help him retire because he's struggling right now. Um, he's in a not so good place, um, with work and not having the job. He has a job, but they just don't have work. Um, so to truly say, because I've been saying I'm going to do this, but then life gets to us, right? Um, but that's where you have to kind of pull up your big girl panties. Yes, admit that life gets to you, but you got to work through it. Stephanie works through it. She, she endears things in her life too, and that doesn't stop her. She became millionaire. She still chugs through. I mean, she goes on vacation, and she's still sitting here taking her Zoom calls on the beach and stuff. So 
it might be an excuse and we all let it get to us, but we truly have to look at the ones that are making it happen and they have a life too and it gets to them too. So that's my goal is to not let the excuses weigh me back down to put it in there and say, I can do this no matter what comes and just being more diligent in my time. Awesome. Very, very, very cool. Thank you so much. That would like be a great presentation for on the stage, Sasha. <laughs> so that's fantastic. Yeah, that's, that's I know. My goal. <laughs> Drop the mic there. All right, Sasha, you yes, have 550 cycles waiting for you to hit, which is t almost $30,000. Yep. And mind you, just remember, I've lost that, and I get it back. So it would have been doubles had I paid attention. So pay attention, guys. Put it in your phone. I mean, yep. I've been doing better at my calendar on my phone because my paper calendar, as much as I am as a queen at paper calendars, I have my phone more than I remember that little paper calendar book. So I've been doing better at putting it in my calendar. Nice. Phone calendar. Nice. Yes. All right, great. Okay, thank you guys all so much for sharing. So um, first of all, I want to give the, um, uh, I don't know the word I want to use, but um, everyone's going to take this at whatever level you want to take it. And that's perfectly fine. So if you're in here to uh, cycle two times a week, or if you're here to cycle 20 times a week, um, I'm going to teach you the same way you just have to use your numbers accordingly. So don't be scared if we're talking too big of numbers or too much stuff, you reduce it down for you. Or if we're talking too small and you need to get it higher, first of all, let me know that. But take your numbers according to what you need, but we'll talk privately as to what your numbers need to be. Um, and I have a really, really, really great girl, CC president, who is all about the numbers. And so if you want to you know, really fine tune it as to how many people, uh, how many um, transitions are that going to make to customers and so on, we can easily have Cece come in and do a call. She does do a call every Thursday night. Last week was Money Matters. Um, so I think she does a Tuesday and a Thursday. Um, and I don't know if her Thursdays are always numbers they very well could be. So I'll get her information, I'll pass it on to you guys. Again, take it to whatever level you wanna take it to, but I'm gonna give you access to as much as I possibly can. There is more stuff available than what I will throw at you. So you wanna pick what works for you. And one of the biggest things I want everyone to really truly understand is to go to work. That's the biggest key. We can watch podcasts and videos all day long and we can say happy birthday and say hello to people all day long, but it's actually asking people to look at our products and our compensation plan. And that's going to make a difference of if they get started and a difference to your paycheck. So we're going to talk a lot about teaching, um, education, marketing, and income producing, and they all matter but how much time you spend in each one of them it will make a big difference to how you do that. So what Sasha alluded to is, and Annie is, yes, you are going to touch this every single day. Um, it's just a matter of how much do you want to receive? If you're here for a little bit of income and, and for a few cycles, you can probably touch your business 30 minutes to an hour a day and receive that. If you're here for Jackie and you need executive within 60 days, and guys, that's not just a wish that she has, that's a desire, a want, a focus, a drive. That's every single thing you can mention on that. So Jackie is going to be working her butt off. So if you want what Jackie begins to receive, you got to do what Jackie does. And Jackie, if you want what I have, you got to do what I do. And, and that's just all there is to it. There's, there's nothing about it. Now you can do more than I do. You can do what other people do. The point is, is that you just have to do. And so again, I, my disclaimer, take it whatever level you want. There's no shame in what you want, 
but we're here because we all have a desire to get more, to help more people, to receive more money. And there's nothing wrong with wanting more money. All right, let's understand that. When we do these calls, and in a very public way, it is all about helping other people, not necessarily about our money, but when we talk internally, we know you're here for the money, all right? We want to help people, and, and obviously, that's, the main, that's you know, a huge goal, but we need our income. Why do people work a regular job? Because they need the income. So don't worry about that in your head, and that's something that we need to understand is it's okay to want money. It's okay to have that desire, and, and that's why people work. You guys, would you guys work your other jobs if they didn't pay you? Right. So it's not a bad thing to go to work to receive your paycheck. <laughs> right? It's a, it's, a, it's a big hurdle for people. So I want to discuss that in the beginning too. It's okay to want this. It's okay to want the money. It's okay to want the recognition. It is okay to want your internal needs. So number one, do that new customer questionnaire because that's going to help you define what you want. And it's going to talk about your health as well as the wealth and your network. And the next is, let's talk about education. All right, so before we can really move forward in, in really helping you guys to get there, you do need some education. Now, honestly, I didn't come in with any education at all, but I've been in the industry before. So I don't know if I necessarily needed as much education. I needed a little bit of education on the products, and I received a little education on the products, all right? Jill will be the first one to tell you she didn't know anything for her first two years. Um, and so same thing with Jill. Jill didn't educate herself whatsoever. She didn't spend any time. We didn't even have videos back then. We didn't have articles. We didn't have any of this stuff. And that was just six, seven years ago. We didn't have it. So all of this education that you guys have now is amazing, but it is new. So all the people that have earned the million plus dollars didn't have all of this stuff, right? They just got on the phone and started calling people and they're like, oh my gosh, this food is amazing. You should see and hear and feel what I am feeling. You've got to do the same thing. And they use their, their excitement to get them to a place to excite other people. So that's one of the most important things to do is to find your excitement. And if you don't have it right now, then we've got to fix that, all right? When we do University in Action in March, David, what is going to have you do uh, a grade on your belief in the company, your belief in the products, your belief in network marketing, and your belief in yourself. And if that, I don't think that is on the questionnaire, let's add that to the questionnaire because that's something really important that we're going to need to work with on where, where are you not a 10 and are you a 10 and everything? And if you're not a 10, we need to fix that. And there's ways to fix all of that. Um, but you do need to educate yourself. You got to know what the products do. You got to know what packs we have. You have to know how much they cost, what results people are going to receive. But the way that things are done is Isogenics has done it in a way where it's so simplified. If you look at our enrollment form, we have four solutions. Well, we have five, but there's four on the enrollment form. And each one of those solutions has two to three packs. So are you in it for weight loss? Are you in it for energy? Are you in it for an athlete or just general health? And then the fifth one, of course, would be um, our essence oils or our skincare or, you know, those alternatives. But most people aren't purchasing those packs. Um, until they get to know us a little bit more. So you don't need to focus on the skincare or the oil unless that is your focus. If you're focused on the health, then you need to know those solutions. If you wanna do skincare, fantastic. Our skincare is amazing. If you wanna do oils, great, they're amazing. If you wanna just focus on the vitamins, great, that's amazing too. So find what your focus is going to be. If you're here to make a large amount of money and you're here to help as many people as possible, you need to focus on the health. 
And that's where we're always going to be adding and bringing out new products and, and really being able to make a difference in people's lives. But it's your choice. Just pick. Pick one thing and become really good at it. And for our start members, oh my gosh, are you all start? Does everybody start but me? <laughs> Does everyone I'm not. 18 and 35? Uh, nope, not me. All right, Jackie, there you're at. <laughs> start members, they will teach you over and over. Pick one thing, one thing, and become so good at it. And that's what you market. Right. You, don't, you just don't get off your game. You got one thing. And for some of the start members, they're focused on BIA, right? They've chosen just BIA. I've got another guy coming in. That's all he's going to focus on. We're selling 10,000 cases a day of BIA right now. So pick whatever works for you. All right, so educate yourself. Go through isogenicsbusiness.com. Make your notes, highlight your questions. Let us know what your questions are. Um, we haven't finished the units and I'm so sorry. There's been a huge, huge, huge delay with our tribe time on this. But if you go into Game Changers Biz, there's units. And I think I have one through four in there maybe. Um, go through those units, check them off. Your goal with education is to check it off and move on. Learn it, check it, move on. Learn it, check it, move on. Right? We don't have to keep revisiting. When you're wanting to listen to a podcast or watch a video or learn something new or something like that, you want to multitask. Don't use the time you have to connect with people to educate yourself. Um, on team calls are different. That's a completely off the table subject, but Take a shower, listen to a podcast um, when you're driving, when you're at the gym, um, when, when you're just doing something that you cannot connect with people, that's when you continue your education. Does that work for everybody? Does that bother anyone in any way? Does that change somebody's schedule of how you guys have been doing things? And I'd love to see a thumbs up on that because the best way to receive your goals is to change. <laughs> that totally changes me. Awesome. Okay, good. We're going to focus on income acting, acting produces. Annie, you don't need to learn anything else. Do you feel like you need to learn anything else at this point? You know, I feel like I, I know enough. And I think what I, I think my habit became fueling my mind and getting my mind right in order to fuel me to start reaching out to people. I think that, I think that is what I kind of connected everything with because I'm like, why do I feel that I need to like, like anytime I reach out to people, I'll listen to somebody in the isogenics realm whether it's a live video, even if it's 10 minutes, just to kind of vamp me and get me going because I do so many, while well, I do casting as well. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to take this hat off now and I'm going to put this hat on. Okay. In order to get my hat on that, I need to marinate in a little bit of ISA first and then reach out. So I think, and then I get so into it and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is such a great podcast. Wait, I know that so-and-so just did a live. I want to hear it because it's going to fuel me. And the next thing you know, an hour later, I've listened to so much marination and I can root for people and I can say, Hey, you guys check this out, this, this, this. And I'm like, I'm like that girl, but I'm not reaching out to people and saying, Hey, let's get you started on Bia. You know what I mean? Right. Okay. That's a huge, huge moment, Annie. <laughs> And, yeah. and I want you to remember that, and I've recorded this, so you can listen to yourself say that, all right? So if you ever catch yourself listening to too many things, mm -hmm. you've said it out loud, I could have been connecting with people versus, versus marinating. So for you, Annie, that's great. And, and you might need that motivation. Everyone needs something. Um, it could just be, you just need to get up and do it. It could just be, it's on your schedule. It could just be, you look at your bank account. It could be, you know, it could be several yeah. different things. So whatever it is for you, I can just get up and do it. Um, 
And I don't know if I've trained myself because it's so long ago. I don't know, but um, I think so. I think that was it. I don't know, but everybody's going to be different. So think about that and find you're always at the gym. Listen to your one podcast at the gym and then that's it. No more. Because if you're using it to marinate yourself and to get yourself ready, you don't need any more than that. You're so educated. You've been to every event. You've listened to every video and podcast. I want you really truly to understand there's nothing else new out there for you. You just need to get yourself pumped up and excited and go share it with the world. So get yourself pumped up, whatever that's going to be, whatever video podcast that's going to be get pumped up and go, bam, I'm on it. So maybe take your schedule book okay. and do you schedule your workout? Uh, no, I just, it's a habit. And in order to get my mind right, I have to come. Okay. And my so body let's, first. let's try something different and starts if, if it's a habit and if it's a habit of generally the same time of the day, yeah. then schedule it. Put it in your calendar and then right after your gym, take an hour to do reach out calls and schedule that. See the visual. Uh, this is what I need to do. We're going to really talk about time blocking, maybe not so much today, but um, as things come up, we'll talk about them a few ways. But, but scheduling can be very, very important. And if you come from a corporate world, so your world, I've never really truly have been in your world. Um, and so I, I don't know it well, but what I do know is corporate people like to be told what to do so that they can go to do it. Now, Jackie, you have a lot of goals and you come from a corporate world. Is that correct? Cause I need to know how to work with you. Yes, that's correct. Okay. So I have a hard time. <laughs> just coming up with it and just doing it yourself. And, and that's, that's yeah. where I have failed people in the past, especially from the corporate world, because I come from an entrepreneur where I just know what I need to do and I do it. So you guys have to understand where I come from. So if I'm not giving you what you need, you need to tell me that so that I can change how I work with you, but I'm learning this and I've been learning it, but, um, but it, it, this is a very much of a link arm situation where I need to know your needs and you need to let me know what I'm not giving you. And you guys have permission 100% to let me know that. <laughs> okay. There's no holding back here. Sweet. All right. Yeah. Right. So, um, so anyone else that's from the corporate world, Sasha, I'm going to put you in that category with Jackie. You guys got to work together. You guys got to push each other, work together. And that's why we've been doing, um, the consultant, the manager, manager, to director, and so on, because it's a lot of different personalities and it's a lot of different work backgrounds. And so work together. So if, if, if you can, go with your background of this is what I've done. You're going to help someone else know what they need to do. So try to be as outspoken as you possibly can. For one, it'll keep you accountable. Um, it's like the food journal, right? You know, here's my example of the food journal. I knew that I couldn't cheat because I was recording publicly every single thing I was eating. And I can't be a big health coach and reach in and grab caramel and chocolate popcorn, right? And record that on my journal. That's just not going to work. So <laughs> whether I do it or not, I can't record it. So I would have to like, well, Stephanie, you, then you shouldn't eat it. <laughs> if I can't record it and I can't say it publicly, then I shouldn't eat it. So it's a, it's a mindset. So if, if you record what you're doing publicly, then you're probably going to do what you need to do. And if you're doing stuff that you shouldn't be doing necessarily to build your business, and, and Jackie, I'm really honing in on you on this because you're go, 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 go. When you want um, executive within 60 days, you can't mess around. There's no messing around. If your goal is executive within 120 days the, or the 160 days, the six months that we have, you can mess around a little bit. Um, if your goal is hitting manager, whatever, you got a lot of time to mess around. Do you see the difference? And it's all a matter of what you guys want. So 
there's no judgment. Again, no judgment. You just have to know what you need to do. Um, all right, so educate yourself. Isogenics business, go through the units. There really isn't much more that you really truly need to learn. You'll learn as you go. Yes, mistakes will happen as you go. Learning lessons will happen as you go. All right. It, happen, it still happens today, right? I don't, I'm the first one to admit, well, that was a learning lesson. All right, move on. Um, and that's the other thing. When something happens, and there are going to be, and I don't want to scare Jessica whatsoever because Jessica is like brand new in all of this. Jessica, don't be scared. Um, but <laughs> I'm very upfront with what's going to happen and what, what goes through, but there are so many amazing things, guys. I mean, I, I live a life of a lot of freedom. I live a life of a lot of, ah, where'd you guys go? Hold on. I clicked the button. A lot of luxury, but I work hard in between, but so it's all worth it. I don't want to scare anyone. Um, it is amazing. Everything about this is amazing. There's, there's a reason why I've been in this industry for 47 years or 20, excuse me, 27 years. Um, and I would never leave it. I'm unemployable. There's no way I can be an employee ever, ever. I like my own schedule. I like to determine my own money. I like to determine who I work with. I like to make all of those decisions. But, but I do work every single day. Some days I work an hour. Some days I work two hours. Some days I work 16 hours. But I get to choose how all of that comes out to be. Um, okay, so educate yourself on that. And then it really truly is, here's your directions. Do what Isogenics Business tells you to do. Those are your directions, Jackie. When you sit down and you're like, all right, what do I do? How do I start my day? They start with step one, do, say, share. Step two, step three. And then you repeat, say, share, do, say, share, do. So marketing, let's talk marketing for a second. So education, marketing, income, act, income producing activities. Marketing. Marketing is something that we have to do. And, and honestly, I have built a really large business from marketing, but I could have built my business faster and stronger if I would have focused more on income producing activities than marketing. Marketing has taken me to a great place, but it's taken me longer than I could have done. So marketing is needed. Marketing is having people like, no trust, and respect you. Saying happy birthday, saying hello to people, doing some fun little posts, bringing people together, creating um, moments for people, making them feel good. That's marketing, right? Income producing activities. All it is is inviting people to know more about our products, inviting them to know about our compensation plan, and getting them to events. Those are income producing activities. So do a little bit of marketing every day because you've got to keep your algorithms high, if you're, especially if you're using social media. People have to see you. They've got to see your presence. They've got to know who you are, not what you offer but who you are. They feel like, no trust, and respect you. That doesn't mean showing them a product. That means who are you, right? Income producing activities are going to be specifically product compensation plan. However, we can't strictly do that on social media. There are bad ways and good ways. Instagram and Facebook are two completely different animals. And we've got both of you on here. I am Facebook. I have not done well on Instagram. Annie's done extremely well on Instagram. Jessica has really built a huge organization, but not with Isogenics on Instagram. So you guys are the, the go-tos for that. I will help you with Facebook. Um, Facebook is all about love, friendship, information, Instagram is much more sales, but you've got to do it in a correct way. Um, right now in our tribe time, we're focused on Instagram and social media. You can watch some of those videos and they will teach you that. If you want to really do Instagram and that is your forte, 
And that's what you are good at. You're good at the really pretty pictures. You're good at the fashion. You're good at showing things. Then go Instagram. If you're better at having relationships with people and having conversations with them, then you want to go Facebook. If you're better at doing articles and information and education and creating um, newsfeed, then you're going to be better at LinkedIn. So pick your area. And again, pick your area, focus on your area. Now I show myself in both of those areas, but I have more time. So you got to pick accordingly. If you don't have that much time or if your goals are so high and you're limited on that time, then you pick one area. Okay. You can show yourself. Um, some of you are very established in both places then you should continue both of those places. But focus your potential income producing activities in one of those places. Does that make sense? Yes. Is that confusing to anyone in any way? I'm really talking to my veterans there for that one. So Annie, Sasha, Beth, any confusion with that at all? That doesn't confuse me. No, okay. that, make, that makes sense. Uh, okay. okay. Jackie, Jessica, how, how are you guys feeling at this moment? I suck at Instagram. Then don't do I it. Then don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know how to take pictures and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, all these people's pictures just look way too pretty for me. So... I think, you know, Facebook is where I should focus then. then. Then that's where you focus. Don't confuse yourself and don't frustrate yourself trying to do something that's not necessarily you and that's not necessarily going to work because if you're not authentic and if you don't come across correctly, and what I mean, not necessarily doing it correctly, but if you don't come across as this is somewhat natural for you, it's not going to work. So just don't do it. I'm kind of the opposite. I feel uh, scared with Facebook and comfortable with Instagram. So I'm, I'm happy that you guys are saying that I can focus on one. Yep. Just focus on one. And, and Jessica, you know, Instagram, I mean, Jen, yeah, I know Jessica, Jessica had 30,000 followers on her first account in Instagram. And by the way, Jessica, I just recently heard that that happened to somebody else in our organization. So oh, really? We've got to protect ourselves as far as that goes. What happened is she lost her um, account. Somebody hacked her account. She lost all of her followers. So I don't know the best way to protect it, but it's going to be a conversation as we move on because the, the, the people in our organization that are, that are really, really utilizing Facebook or Instagram and doing very well are big business big business and and so this stuff can't happen so we'll figure out how to protect it if you haven't already but yeah just focus on instagram it's what you know it's what you're good at you have the people build that account back up jackie focus on facebook and you build facebook so here's the thing when it comes to social media and I have plenty of different places you can go to learn it now social media is something you have to spend the time on learning if you're not already good at it, you got to learn it. And, and, and that's just how it goes. So I have, I have several different ones. I have some for free. Um, there are some that are paid for. I can give you names in, in for, I don't know Instagram quite as much, but I can easily get those names for you guys. But, um, but you've got to learn it so that you're good at it. Um, and, and it's simple, right? Um, I, I, I am a fan of Jim Lupkin and I've sent you guys through his program before. He's got a newer version of his program. He says you can complete it in 10 hours. So it's free. Um, you, you can become a part of our board association again for free. You get his program for free, learn it, use it. That's the key. Learn it, use it. Uh, so anyways, let me know if you guys need more information about where to go to do that. The biggest thing with either of those platforms is you've got to have the network. You've got to have a number of people. And so if your numbers aren't very high, and when I say numbers, 
uh, you know, a minimum of thousand up to 2000, 3000. And if your numbers aren't that high, then just every day work on growing it a little bit more at a time. All right. So um, Jackie, do you know how many friends you have on Facebook? I have over 1300. Okay. All right. Good. It's a start. Um, you're going to want to grow it more, but because of what you're doing, that will organically grow. Cause as you continuously meet people and bring them into your lives, you're going to bring them onto Facebook. So we can talk about if you focus on finding new people or if you're just finding them in your world and bringing them into Facebook either way. Um, Jessica, you're restarting your Instagram. Have you been starting to build that again? Um, I made a new account and I followed a bunch of people that um, I thrive to be similar to like health pages that uh, have like a lot of meals and stuff like that. So I kind of have a really good idea of where to start when I finally do start to post. Okay, excellent. And you know how to build that. So you're mm -hmm. the one teaching us that one. Um, so you just, you just go build that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, the biggest thing for you, Jessica, is um, with your age and your background, that's really truly all you need to focus on right now is um, learning start, get in the start group, um, listen to their calls, get in their groups, get, get involved with start and build your Instagram back up right now. That's your Sounds focus. good. Yeah. Um, Annie, I know you're great in both, with both followers as well as uh, friends. Sasha, how are you with your friends? Sasha, you're, you're much more Facebook. Um, I have about 1,800. I went through and really um, cleaned out my friends because I had about 3,000, but there was some that didn't need, to, quite a few that didn't need to be there um, for many reasons. So I'm re-establishing new. Okay, great. So I'm going to have you purpose yourself in, in different ways. So rather than just spending the time looking to see who's going to stay and who's going to go, we're going to turn that into an income opportunity activity for you. Okay. Okay. Beth, how are you on your social media? And, and you don't have to go social media, by the way. Um, if social media isn't your thing, and you're willing to get out there and meet people and see them in person, perfect. But again, you find your thing and you do your thing well. I've been doing, I've been on Facebook and just tapped into Instagram a little bit. Okay, so do you want to do social media and do stuff from home as well as meet people in person or are you better meeting people? Stephanie, what did you say? You were kind of choppy. Oh, sorry. Are you planning on using social media to help you build or are you planning on meeting people and, and being in person with them? Um, definitely a social media. Um, okay. How many friends do you have? Roughly. Sorry, you're choppy again. No, oh, shoot. How many friends do you have? Sorry, Stephanie, you were choppy again. I'm, I don't know what you said. Am I, am I choppy to everybody or just Beth? You're super clear to me. You're super clear to me. Okay. How many? Clear to me too. Okay, good. How many friends do you have, Beth? On Facebook? Yes. W well over a thousand. Okay, great. Okay, so you guys will need to continue to build that, but it's not the main, main focus. Okay, so post, you get, we've got to get more engagement and game changers. We just have to. Um, the energy has to be there. So every day, have your list. And so Jackie, if you want your list of your to-dos. List to-dos are um, post. Post on your wall, post on your stories, post in um, your product pages. And if you are going to do a little bit of both, then you post on Instagram and your stories. So that's kind of my morning. My morning, um, I try to reach out to my new people first, but it depends on what time I wake up. So 
according to their time. But as far as my marketing goes, it's bam, bam, bam. Um, I, I do one thing that, because on Facebook right now, you shouldn't post more than once on your wall a day. Otherwise, you begin to compete with yourself and you'll lose the engagements. So you want to have one really great post and it can be anything you want. Um, it's 80% personal, 20% business. This is on Facebook. Um, and, and so you want to figure out, you know, what's my one post going to be today? But don't think about it too much. If you look at my Facebook I'm not thinking about it too much. I just know that whatever I do, I can only have like one. Sometimes I have two, sometimes I have three, but I'm really, I'm trying to change it. So I only have one. So whatever that one's going to be. So I post on Facebook. We can post as many times as we want in our group. And the more you post in the group, the better. The reasons why you want to post in the group are all the people that you have brought into the group are going to receive your notification that you just posted so you're bringing them alive again. If you don't ever post in our product pages, there's a lot of stuff that's happening. Number one, the people you brought in are never gonna see your stuff. They're, they're not gonna look at you as a leader. They're not gonna know that you're even involved anymore. Um, and of course, you're not helping out the team. So it is so important to keep that energy alive and to keep that moving. Um, stories, stories are where it's all at right now. So I load up my stories every morning and I do three stories in Instagram and three stories in Facebook. There is a, um, there's an argument as to what's appropriate and what's working right now. All I know is that Kimberly Penny does before and afters. Um, she has three before and afters in both Instagram and Facebook every single day. And that girl is, is enrolling 10 people a week. So, all right. Who is that? What's her name? Kimberly, Kimberly Penny, who, who is oh, training yeah. tonight. And Kimberly is actually going to walk you through an actual sales call tonight. She's lining up a person to speak to. And she's going to physically talk to them on the phone tonight to walk you through. Jackie, you're going to love Kimberly. Kimberly comes from a very corporate business. Um, she was the owner. I think she had 129 employees. Um, a million dollar operation that she, it was her business. And so she treats her business as a corporation. And when she does her calls, it's very much like a distribution center. She has very specific questions that she asks and the way she answers it and so on. It, it's like clockwork listening to her. It's like she has her entire script, right? So that's tonight, um, 7 o'clock Arizona time, 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, anyways, that's what she does. But she has built herself a large following and she does live videos. She talks about the product. She shows the transformation. She asks people to call in. She's very heavily isogenics involved on her Facebook, but that works for her. Now, the other side of the coin is we can't do that anymore. And I agree to all of it to an extent. So you got to kind of find what works for you. But the, 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 the knowledge right now is that when you do the stories, you, you just have to give recognition. Now, Ali has always told us, as long as you bring in emotion. So I'm trying to do a balance of all of that. So I load them up a before and after testimonials, and I bring in some emotion, or I bring in some recognition, or I bring in, hey, you want to look like this? You want a sample? So don't just post a before and after add something to it, okay? The biggest thing that the gurus will tell you is you've got to bring an emotion. I'm so proud of my friend. Look what she's accomplished. I can't believe that my girlfriend was able to change her life like this. You know, something that when someone sees it, they're like, oh, I want that. That's what you want. All you care about is when somebody sees your story, I want that. I want that for me. I want that for my mom. I want that for my sister. Whoever they want it for, that emotion of, I want that. That's what your goal is. 
All right, they're doing my landscaping. Hopefully this uh, isn't too loud. All right, so, but that's marketing. Having people like, know, trust, and respect you, and they also know what you do. I am not a fan of 100% curiosity. I am not the person who's gonna ever tell you to never, ever, ever tell people what you do and what company you're with. I think it's very frustrating for me to look through people's pages and never know what they sell. How do you want me to buy from you if I don't even know what you sell? That's my theory. And I know that that's a big question in the industry, not just hygienics, but in the industry. It doesn't make any sense to me of how people are selling products when the public doesn't know what they sell. That's my theory. That's my thoughts. So you guys work with that as much as you want. Um, we need to be careful. I see you, Annie. Hold on. Um, we need to be careful, especially in the beginning, Jackie Beth and, um, and Jessica, not to go heavy and not to truly promote isogenics. You want to promote your nutrition, your cellular detox, your superfoods, your opportunity to transform lives, your excitement. That's what you want to promote. Don't promote isogenics because they may Google it or go to Amazon or something else and bypass you. So you want to be curious and you want to be a mystery as far as what do you sell so that they come to you. But at some point you got to show them a little something <laughs> so that they know. There's a lot of people out there who are just talking about how they're making all kinds of money and they're doing this business and it's fantastic. But I don't even know if they're selling health products, skin, um, <laughs> beauty. I have no idea. And so I'm done. After 20 minutes of researching, you sucked me in that long. Um, so let them know. I'm proud of my girlfriend for this transformation. I can't believe I feel this good. Oh my gosh, I lost five pounds. Um, it's, I love my nutrition that's so easy to go, so convenient. You know, the things that people are looking for, I slept so good last night. You know, let people know what you do, but in an emotional way that they say, I want that. All right, Amy, you had a comment? Oh yeah, so, you know, forever at the beginning. So just so you guys know, I started um, Isogenics October, 2013. And, you know, I always heard mixed things like, yes, let people know it's isogenics or no, just say, you know, nutritional and all that kind of stuff. So forever, I didn't even, I didn't put it out there, isogenics, nothing. If we took a photo and there was isogenics, I would like mark it off. And then I'm like, wait a minute, my, my finances aren't even like where I want them to be. Like people really don't know, like they know a little or they hear about it. They're like, okay. But then they kind of go into another department of things that I do. So what I did boldly, and this has been, I want to say like two months, I went into like my job description, which is public for everybody to see. And I put manager at Isogenics. So they see that before they see that I do casting because everybody, you know, is gravitated to the casting portion of of what I do. So I went ahead and did that. So I haven't had anybody say, Hey, anything, but I know that they're looking. So that was kind of like uh, when I did it, like my palms were sweaty, but I'm like, if nothing changes, if nothing changes. So I had to make that change. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I think it's important that people know what we do. We don't have to be in their face about it. We don't have to sell them all day long every day yeah. because they don't want that. Especially on Facebook, they want to know who you are and what you are doing today. A snapshot of your, on both of them, they want a snapshot of your life, but they yeah. have to know what we do because otherwise, why would they even ask us if we can help them? So you got to think about these things when you're posting. It's like, how can I help people? And if, how do I expect people to connect with me if they don't even know that I'm offering something? Exactly. Um, okay. So again, marketing, but a very little bit of your time every single day. Go bam, 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 bam. Repurpose your stuff. If you've got a great little thing that you want to put on your wall, that's health related, put it in Game Changers. 
or, or um, project potential. Use your product page as an opportunity to really, really learn the product and how to market. Right, take that, I'm sorry. I can mute that. Uh, I can't mute my other one. I'm Stephanie, sorry. I gotta go. Okay, Jackie, we're gonna continue all of these things. Today was just kind of an overall, but just go through Isogenics Business and that will give you your bam, bam, bam. And then let's talk later on today. Okay. okay. All right. Bye. Bye, hon. All right. So income producing activities. And we'll be brief on this and let you guys go. But income producing activities are physically calling, texting, private messaging people to find out if they have an interest in your product or the compensation plan. Now, you can't come right out if you haven't spoken to them recently and asked them those questions. You need to have a relationship with them. If it's been less than 90 days, say hi, establish a relationship, and then move the conversation into, you know, I've noticed on your posts that you said this. Do you know that I, that I help people with that? I was just wondering if, uh, if I could give you some information. So what we're looking for when you're reading through people's story are the gaps, the, the triggers, the area of their life that they're looking for something. Because most likely if they're looking for something, we have that solution because that's the kind of company we are. So you're looking for that. Now in the beginning or at any time, really truly, and I know Annie, you're doing this right now, just reach out to people and say, hi, how are you? I thought of you because you talked about this or you said something about this or I saw this on your post and I wanted to connect with you and let you know that that's something I offer. If I were to show how I can help you with that, would you be interested? And just ask people, ask them, can I help you with that? Can I make a difference with that? and just find out. That's your income producing activities. Or um, Jackie does a sip and sample every single Sunday. Invite them to a sip and sample, invite them to a wellness Wednesday, but it's gotta be a person to person. Now, one thing that I'm gonna share, and this is really towards you, Annie and Sasha, and myself, is we have to con continuously add to our list of people and our goal is to cross off names. So we're not always asking the same people if they're ready or if they wanna get started or if they wanna to come to this event. Our goal when we reach out to people is to cross off their name either because we enrolled them, they're just not ready yet, or they have said no, which doesn't mean no they have said no, so that we can put a new name on there and constantly follow up with the new people. All right, so that's about what I wanted to cover today. Are you guys good doing these calls? We can decide how often you wanna do them. Um, just getting together, they'll become shorter and shorter. These are just kind of the beginning initial, what do I do, how do I get started. Beth, your question was how do you cash out on the seven cycles that you have? Um, you just need to enroll someone, babe. You just need to reach out to someone and say, oh my gosh, we have free shipping today. There's no more membership fees. Go to your inactives that haven't ordered for a while and say, hey, do you want to get started with me again? And enroll someone. And with 100 BV, you'll cycle seven times, if not eight. Awesome. Yep. And keep it that simple. Really keep it that simple that reaching out to people who haven't ordered for a while or reaching out to your friends and, hey, I've got something. There's no shipping. There's no more membership fees. Guys, why don't you do this with me? And that's what I did over and over and over with my friends when I first got started is I called every single one of them. Annie was one of them. Hey, I've got something really, really cool that I think you would like. Can I tell you about it? Was it complicated when I called you, Annie? No, not at all. And I want to add to that, Stephanie, because I remember that call so vividly. When you called me, you took notice that I had started doing CrossFit. So 
when you called me, I felt like, wow, she's really, she really cares. She looked at my post and she knows that I need this. Like, so that, cause I was pretty new in the cross world, in the CrossFit world. So to me having you notice, I was like, oh, that made me feel good. So I think taking notice at, as to what people are doing on their pages is super important. Adding that in, it's almost like adding salt and pepper to your food. You want to add a little flavor to it. Right. Right. So thank you for sharing that. And guys, it's going to be really hard to pay attention to 1300 or 1800 people or whatever you're talking about. But if you just take a little bit of time and you look at their Facebook wall before you connect with them and just, you know, go over, you know, their last 10 posts, find out what's going on in their lives right now that you can pick up on. And it doesn't have to be like, like the gap for Annie was starting CrossFit. So her gap, in my opinion, was does she have the right nutrition to go with her CrossFit? And she did it. She was on another program and she she was okay with it, but it wasn't providing all the needs that she had. And so when I called, she's like, well, huh, let me check it out. And because we had a relationship and there was trust and respect there, she checked it out. And here we are six years later. <laughs> so that's all it takes. And, and that's really, really all it is. So if this is what you want, pick your number of how many people you can reach out to every day. Pick your number of people of how many you want to help. Pick your number as to how much money you want to make. Whatever it is, pick your numbers. Let us know. And then, and then we just go. So for now, I would suggest everybody go through isogenicsbusiness.com again. Do that today if you haven't done it yet. If you've done it, look at your list and check and see what your list is. And no matter what your numbers are, no matter how much time you want to put into this, make a big list because that list will serve you for the rest of your life. And we are experimenting with a brand new app that that's come out um but through tribe time and we have a call later on today this app goes into your facebook and it goes into our back office so we turn it on and it tells us who to connect with today so i'm so excited to get started on this because that's my biggest problem of who am i going to reach out to today and if i have an app just to tell me great <laughs> So there's so many fun things out there. All right, guys, I need to know your questions. I need to know your concerns. Um, you never, ever, ever be afraid to say anything. Um, this is j for you. So don't be afraid to tell me too much, too little, too confusing. I'm on it. What do I need to do? Whatever it is, take your brag moments because they're going to make you feel great. Um, share with people what you're doing because then you become more accountable to yourself, but you also teach others at the same time. Is there anything I can help you guys with right now? Okay, I'm going to put us all on a Marco Polo. Beth, I need to add you on there. And I'm going to give you detailed instructions for today and so that you can check, check, check it off. Anything else I can help you with today? Thank you for this call. It was really good. Okay, good. I always want it to be informative. So if it's not, let me know. First call is more getting to know each other in, in the beginning. And then we go details. All right, guys. So thank you guys so much for your time today. Check in. Let us know. And let us know if you want to do Marco Polo or a thread. Is it easier? Or if we want to do both and we just use them however. All right, guys. Have a fantastic day today. Thanks, Steph. Thank you, Beth. Thanks, Jessica. Thanks, Annie. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>